Hey guys and welcome to my coverage of the DAF XF Euro 6 mod for American Truck Simulator. So this mod is uh, is actually pretty pretty nice. They've done a, a really good job. They've done a really great job with the exterior and the interior. It's uh, and the textures on it are pretty nice as well. It's uh, I've seen a couple of mods in my search for mods, obviously, which have been a bit flat and a bit shit, to be fair. Whereas the uh, this one is uh, it's definitely worthy of a spotlight. So you pick it up at the Kenworth dealer in Los Angeles, which when you install this mod changes this to a DAF dealership. So hopefully they'll be uh, firing out some more DAF vehicles in the near future. Uh, here you can see one of the interiors that we've got. Really nice. Like It's been so well done. It's got that nice uh, brushed stainless steel look on the dash there. Can't really see around the back to see what we're looking at around there unfortunately but yeah it's pretty nice the the seats look great they've been textured lovely uh oh we sunroof as well beautiful <laughs> right let's have a let's have a little look around the outside shall we it's pretty nice man i really like this i really like this mod it's probably one of my favorites and there's uh there's definitely a special place in my heart for uh for daft trucks uh daft where the they're a Dutch company, a Dutch uh, a Dutch truck company who bought over uh, British Leyland, which is obviously a British truck company, and they were known as Leyland Dafts for a while. Uh, yeah, they basically they they went from Daf Daf bought over Leyland, and part of the part of the deal was that they were making it Leyland Daf, so they had the they had Leyland first and then Daf, and that made people happier apparently. And uh, and then slowly but surely they've just done away with the Leyland. They still use some British Leyland trucks, uh, truck designs, but they've got the DAF logo slapped on the front of them now. But yeah, anyway, I like DAF trucks. DAF trucks are nice, and this one is just a prime example of a absolutely beautiful truck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice screenshot because that looks glorious. Cha ching Right, let's pop into this dealership then, and we'll see. So, it's a, it's a daft dealership. Unfortunately, they haven't really done anything with the inside, and the, the windows have got really strange. I don't know what, I don't know what's really happened with those windows, but they're kind of showing the camera angle, and I don't, I don't really like that. But yes, we are at the, the daft XF truck dealer here in Los Angeles. Right, let's go to customized configuration, we'll see exactly what they've got in store. So, they've got three cameras, you've got the space, you've got the space aero and the super space. Super space is what I've got on, because it just looks better. But, uh, it's quite expensive. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a flat top with the space and the, the space aero, even though it's got the all aerodynamic shield at the top. Uh, but the super space is just so much nicer. Now we've got the, the same chassis that, chassis that you would expect. Uh, although, it's spelled right here, it's spelled, I don't know, I don't know what uh, country it spells it like that, but needless to say, it's probably some country that I don't understand their language, because I'm shit like that. Regardless, I'm just honestly marvelling at how well this has been modelled. Uh, then we've got the, the engines, just four pretty much stock engines, not much different, we've got the uh, the two transmissions there, and this is the this is the exciting bit. So you've got like this. Would you say mahogany? I don't know, like mahogany effect, possibly. Lots of knots in it. There's definitely a hardwood of some descript. Uh, but yeah, it's just really nice. We've got both the the standard and the UK variants because it is a European truck. Just just like the little XF logo down there, and oh, it's just beautiful. The only thing that I don't really like is the bed. I feel like they could have done something better with the bed. So this is the the base, and then you've got the exclusive, which is the one that I went with because it just looks amazing. It just looks so good. A little DAF logo there. Just the the little sign saying that it's a, a 12 volt 5 amp plug. Ah, it's just it's just been done so nicely. And now if we go to the paint jobs, you've got the the original orange for the XF, and you've got the XF logo as well. Which is very nice, and then you can change it. It's uh, because it's pearlescent. It uh, you change that, and then it, you can see it changing in the light. You can see the paint job changing in the light. 
just really nice paint job. Uh, the... I don't think we've got any surprising upgrades to it. It's all pretty much what you would expect. See if there, there's anything super interesting. The stock, the serpent, the ninja, and the ranger. Oh, just paint and chrome. Yeah, exactly what you would expect from all. Oh, let's see if there's anything interesting on the top. Nope, we've got the space again. Or oh, the regular one, and... Ah, oh, that's it. Right, anyway, let's uh, leave. Yes, I don't want to make any modifications because I like the way that my truck looks just now and I'm not going to be buying a new one. Yes, yeah, so let's exit the truck dealer. And let's drive this baby around. Oh, we've got a bit of, a fair bit of wobble there. That may have something to do with the fact that I've got the uh, improved truck physics mod installed right now, along with the uh, the fact that the this truck may have been modified itself. So I don't know how that works, but it just seems like there's a, an awful lot of wobble on the cab. All right, we are now leaving Los Angeles. Beautiful. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Don't even see him there. Uh, do you know how tough it is to drive like this? Very. Is the answer. And let's brake and see the, the truck wobble. There you see it. Beautiful. Ow! What the fuck, mate? What the fuck? I was just parking... On the motorway, you dickhead. Ah, oh, Jesus. You can't trust anyone these days. But yeah, so there is the uh, the DAF XF Euro 6. I will leave a link to the mod download in the descriptions. And the descriptions? No, there's only going to be one description, by the way. It's, it's going to be in the box. But yes, I will leave a link to the mod download in the description below. But do remember that if you've enjoyed this episode, to drop a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But, as always, I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.